the great house at Collinwood in the strange, terrifying world of parallel time. On this night, Quentin Collins has been exonerated of the charge of murder, but a very great threat still exists, both to Quentin and to Barnabas Collins, for Timothy Stokes has been prevented from bringing Angelique back from the grave a second time. And now he has vowed his revenge against Barnabas and Quentin, a revenge that is destined to end in tragedy. Hello? Barnabas will be here for at least another hour. Has there anything gone wrong? No, no, but Quentin and I are both waiting to make our final depositions. I, I wanted you to know that Maggie will be back there before we will. Quentin didn't see any need for her to wait here. I should have stayed with her until, until I was ready to go. Oh, no, you had no way of knowing. We'll be here about a, another hour or two, and then we'll be back. All right, we'll be waiting for her. Maggie's coming back. I'll wait for her here. And then I will deal with Stokes. There is no longer the first Mrs. Quentin Collins. Soon there will be no second. resisting. You're coming with me and don't try to scream or you'll be very sorry. Um, Where is your husband? Why do you just want... answer the question. You'll find I'm very easily provoked, so just answer the question. He's in town. He's with the police. And Angelique? Where is poor Angelique? She's dead. You know that. She's dead, but is she gone? Has he had her body cremated yet? I, I don't know. Please, just let me go. He never loved her. Never understood her. Never appreciated her. If he had, she wouldn't have died. In some strange way, his failure was even greater than mine. I don't understand anything you're saying. His was negative, brought about by his indifference and stupidity, which he will pay for now. Please. Come with me. No. Come with me. Let me, me. go. Soon, my darling. Very soon. We will be in another time. Time you never knew existed. Time that belongs to us. I will take you there. But I did know that time existed. I don't know how. Just as I knew that you existed. Even though I'd never seen you. Never heard your name. I knew that we would meet someday, Barnabas, and I... Barnabas, where are you? Where did you go? Don't leave me!
Roxanne, what's the matter? Oh, you're here. You're all right. Of course I'm all right. Why? I had a dream. You were in a burning room. I thought you were trapped there. Oh, I thought I had lost you. No, you haven't lost me, and you never will. You're insane. If only Angelique could see you now. But her spirit will rejoice tonight. Why have you brought me here? What are you going to do to me? There comes a time when one must pay the piper, Mrs. Collins. <laughs> tonight your husband will pay with his life. <laughs> What are you thinking about? That dream I had. Well, you mustn't dwell on it. I can't help it. Barnabas, you told me about that other time. You said you were going to take me to it. I am. Very soon. Barnabas, tell me about the other time. What is it like? Who will I meet there? Well, it doesn't appear to be like any different from this time, but it is. How? Well, the people that exist in this time have counterparts in the other time. They look the same, but their personalities are different. Their destinies are different. For example, Timothy Stokes is a college professor in that time. Kind, gentle man. Oh, it's all so hard to understand. It sounds too good to be true. But it is true. You'll be much happier in that time, I promise you. What is it? Well, it's been over an hour since Julia called. Maggie should be here by now. I'll go. I'll be back very soon. Roxanne, this is Quentin Collins. Uh, Roxanne Drew. How do you do? How do you do? Where are Maggie and Barnabas? Maggie didn't come back after you called. She didn't come back. Barnabas got worried about her. He went out to look for her. Something must have happened to her. Did she have any reason to go to Cullen? No, no. She told us she'd come directly here. Hello? Quentin, I didn't expect you to answer. Stokes, what do you want? I'm calling to extend you an invitation. How did you know I was here? Your wife was on her way to Loomis House. I assumed it would be just a matter of time before you joined her there. But of course, she didn't get there, did she? You know where Maggie is? She's with me. Where are you? I've done nothing to her, and I shall do nothing more to her until you get here. Stokes, where are you? I have her at Collingwood. But listen carefully, Quentin. You're to come here alone and unarmed. Is that clear? Yes, quite clear. Barnabas will be back soon. Wait for him and take him with you. No, Stokes said come alone and unarmed. But that's insane. Julia, if I don't do what he wants, he may kill Maggie. If you do what he wants, he may kill both of you. I've got to go. I don't have any other choice. Tell me, how long ago did Barnabas leave to look for Maggie? About a half an hour before you got here. Well, we'd better hurry before we're too late.
trying to kill him, aren't you? Let's just say that once this evening is over, all our little scores will be settled. Quentin, no, don't come in. He's got a gun. Quentin! Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Stokes, whatever differences we have, it's between you and me. You let her go, I'll stay with you. Hey, Quentin. No. Both stay. Has Angelique's body been cremated yet? Yes. You must feel very satisfied. I don't feel anything. I'm just glad it's over. It's not over yet. I intend to finish what Angelique started. What are you talking about? Her life. She was determined to resume her rightful place here again as mistress of Collingwood. Unfortunately, now it's not possible for her to be here with you. It's quite possible for you to be with her. Quentin, he's going to kill you. Stokes, don't be a fool. Now, you know you'll never get away with it. I'm not trying to get away with anything. You see, I have nothing to lose. And very little to gain except the satisfaction of seeing you dead. They say a man's life is judged by his achievements. My crowning achievement was the restoration of Angelique, and you destroyed it. I live now, Quentin, only to see you die. Killing Stokes. Now come near me. I know what you are. I know about you. Stay away from me. One twist. Oh. One little twist, Barnabas, and I can break her neck. So stay where you are. We've got to get out of here. Yes, you. Take care of Maggie. He's taking her out of the house. That's what he wants us to believe. We should search outside, part of this. No, no, no. I'll take you to the Loomis house. You'll stay with Julia. Take the pistol. You may need it. Come on. Quentin or Maggie? They're at Loomis' house. They told me that, that Stokes has Roxanne. Yes. They saw no sign of him? No. He must be out here somewhere. Perhaps we'd better go back to the main house and search there. Do you think he would keep her there? Well, he's out of his mind. He's capable of doing anything. Why are you waiting here? They'll all be coming back soon, my dear Roxanne. And when they do, I'm planning a little surprise for them. What are you going to do? No, uh, I want you to be surprised, too. <laughs> you see, I was right. They're here. We'll begin with the West Wing. Barnabas Collins. Dr. Hoffman, <laughs> we needn't wait for Quentin. Destroying them will be revenge enough. <laughs> I've lost everything. Now Quentin will lose everything too. This beloved Collingwood reduced to ashes. Violet! Julia, they'll be trapped upstairs! Precisely, and burned to a sin. <laughs> Very well, go!
None of you will leave this house alive! <laughs> if I could find them, I would deal with Stokes and bring you and Roxanne back here and wait for the room to change. Barnabas. What is it? I smell smoke. Julia! The place is on fire! It must have been started by Stokes. There's a mouse and Roxanne's with him. Barnabas, look! How will we get out of here? I don't know. Roxanne! Roxanne, give me your hand! <laughs> Julia, I can't reach her! Roxanne! Roxanne! No. We've come back. And Roxanne is still in her time. Oh, Roxanne. Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs>